Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Today's video is about a new ant shop and their new product. The ant shop is called the Ant Hut, and their new product is just simply the module. So, the whole lineup is based around this single module design. The module design is recyclable, made out of 3D printed materials, and a clear piece of glass for viewing, making it highly recyclable and it is also available in four colours, that will be pink, red, blue and green. The inserts are also available are a wood infused brown and the standard white. They are sold in three different sets or bundles if you will, there's a single, a twin or a triple bundle set. So I think the best thing here is to start how they come, packed, and I'm going to set it up like I've just received it. So I've just received a triple pack, and I'm going to set it up, ready for ants to move in. And while we go through the setting it up, we're going to take a look around it and have a bit of a discussion. So each module comes packed with its hydration tray covering its lid. This is for safe postage protection, as the lid is actually separate, this is just protecting the glass in shipping. So once we've separated it into three parts, we have the hydration tray, the module with the four ports, so I'm just going to work out what end this, this module is going to be, so it's just going to be the right far end. Then we're going to take the hydration module, and we're going to... So, put in some of the supplied hydration media. Now you just want to fill this up just enough, you get plenty of spare, so don't worry about anything like that, and then you just simply bring it down and make sure that you put the vented hydration point on the opposite end to the heat cable ports, which is that raised arch in the base that's designed for a heat cable to go underneath it and fit in perfectly so we want that the opposite end to the vented floor now you simply to hydrate this nest it's simply from any of these two holes it's really rather easy and pretty simple to do and it also adds the ability in for future products of a auto water feeder as this has been designed with one of them in mind for later in the go. So let's get the other two modules up to the same level. So we're just going to add in the hydration media here for both of our nests. And we're just going to tap down so we get it leveled out. Like I said, don't worry about pouring too much. You can just tip it back into the envelope and start again. Now these nests also come with a piece of see-through red plastic that you can lay over the glass so you can make them light resistant if you want and they're interchangeable and they lock into position and they have they can be expanded in all directions so you need to wait for the base to put on because the base will lock them in place so you just need to work your way through make sure you've pulled out the ports for the right parts and once you've worked your way through make sure the heat cable is on the right side and that they all line up I realised just before I did it incorrectly. And then make sure you hear a nice reassuring click lock into place. Once you've got that, these won't actually fall apart. So you can actually pick them up from one without losing the other two. Which is a rather handy little thing. So as I mentioned, we can make these red. As in, cover them with red, which is a well-known thing to do with ants that aren't too light tolerant and then we have a full blackout lid made out of the same material as the rest of the nest and you, there's a lid to every module. Now, as I mentioned before the hydration points are all on this side but if you wanted to put some water in at the other end as a one-off this is actually fairly easy because they've been designed with a special angled needle access 
that doesn't access into the nest. It accesses into the hydration system below. So you don't have to worry about flooding anybody out. And they're at this high angle. So even when the module is, say, the middle module, this needle can still come down and in. So it doesn't matter what position the module is, how big that these have been expanded, it'll work. They also include a way of giving them water, but the primary reason for this is to move them in. It's like a test tube adapter, but very simplified. The, the tube pushes straight into the port, then the tube into the test tube adapter, and the test tube adapter onto the test tube. This can be used for moving your colony in from your ant shop, and the same but longer piece of tube will root up to any outworld you made. Homemade, professional, doesn't matter as long as it takes a tubed connection. And it's simple to change the position. You could have the outworld coming out of one of the middle ports, one of the edge ports, the other end. You could change it. Let's talk about accessories. There's a few accessories dotted around. And these are the lid attachment accessories. And you can get anything wrote on the two lines. So I got my channel's name and click like and subscribe. But maybe you could do species name and then temperature and humidity on the second line. Now once they clip into place nice and snug and securely, you won't lose it. Talking of temperatures, they also have a temperature gauge which is compatible with any of the ports. So you can have multiple ones on the same nest or you can change the position. Now what's really smart about these, they take these refillable cardboard inserts, as you can see here on the stand, and you can pop them out and you can write on them. So you can write the species or the temperature that that, that should be reading. And you can change it and pop it out really cheaply and pop a new blank one in and write something else if it goes to a different ant or you make a mistake. And these can be colour matched, they have a default white, but on ordering you can have them match your nest. Now I didn't have any ants ready to move into these nests, so I thought I would get some footage from the ant shop itself. So these are the owner's personal colonies, and that's where this product mainly started from. He wanted a expandable with no limitations of how big it can get. A covers a wide array of ant sizes. If you have rather large ants though, and I mean big ones, there will be a upcoming extra large port size coming, but isn't quite here as of now. And also in the future is a vertical conversion kit, so any of these modules can actually be mounted upright as well as some other joints in the works in progress. Now let's just have a quick look of the inside. So as you can see here we have the four port accesses over a two main chamber system. One of the chamber systems is just a various gradient point, a lot of traction for spinning the silk, and a vented floor which is where the humidity will gain access. All in all, I'm looking forward to getting some ants for this setup and seeing how big I can expand it to. In theory, there is no limitation. We can go most directions and as many as we want. And then with a conversion kit as well, you could sort of make like a laptop setup or even an entire shelf. The walls, the creativity is endless with what's planned. If you'd like to check them out, I've popped a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching.